You know, sometimes the dark can be a scary place, but there's always a way to light up the night. And today we're going to review some budget gear that actually works. This is the Night Fox 100V Digital Night Vision Scope. Now, in some of my older videos, I've covered what I like to call real night vision. In other words, not digital night vision. This is digital night vision. The previous digital night vision scopes I've gotten for review haven't even been worth it. Seriously, they, they don't work that well. Um, grainy, small screen, not enough light coming out of the emitter. Just, they didn't work that great. And I admit, I was kind of skeptical when I got this because I figured, oh, it's just another, you know, gimmick. It's got a wide screen, all that. But I was really surprised. And believe me, we're going to do a demo on this. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I was really surprised. We've been covering optics a lot lately, and I kind of think it's important, especially with the way the world is now, to be able to observe dis uh, situations from a good distance away. These allow you to do that, but in the dark. Now, they are well designed. They're fairly compact. You know, I mean, they're big, they're not tiny, but the problem was a lot of the tiny ones that I tried before didn't work right. Whether they didn't have the components, whether they didn't have the power, whatever, they just didn't work right. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, this is not high-end, tip-of-the-spear, Gen 3 night vision. And it's also not going to cost you three grand, <laughs> you know? Um, I have two uh, night vision scopes, monoculars, actually, that I use in general, and really this is a monocular, I keep calling it a binoculars, it's a monocular. Um, there's one viewfinder and one lens. But I have two other um, pieces of night vision. One is an, is an older Russian Gen 1 Plus version, works fairly well, and that's that green hue that you'll see all the time. That's your traditional night vision. Uh, and then I have a Gen 2 Plus from, uh, what is it, Night Owl Optics? This is a basic unit for somebody that wants to keep an eye on things on their property at night, Maybe watch from a post far away, you know. If <laughs> you've got some kind of something going on where you're watching your neighborhood after some kind of a disaster or emergency, something like this works pretty well. Now, I have to say, as I said before, the, um, the digital night vision whole thing, I mean, basically some of them look like little tiny camera lenses, and basically that's what this is. It's camera lens with IR. They just didn't do the job. I mean, I remember I had a, gosh, it was a tiny little one, maybe about half the size of this thing, and it just wasn't up to it. You'd just see a black and white grainy image. You could kind of make out what was there. I wasn't sure if it was because my brain told me, yes, that's a corner and you have this in it and that in it, and you know that already, or if it was actually you could see it through the night vision. It's really kind of eh, but you'll see on this one, definitely for for the price point, which is $129, so $130, bucks, you are actually getting inexpensive, inexpensive night vision that works. Now, there are some drawbacks, and we'll get into that later, but I want to give you a little bit about the dimensions on this. Now, the product dimensions are 7.3 inches by 2.2 by 5.6. It weighs 1.33 pounds. This is not a light unit. It uses eight double A's on each side here, and it does not come with it. It does have a mount, so you can mount this on a tripod, which is kind of handy, because you'll see when I'm doing the video, you'll see you know your hand naturally jiggles around no matter what. No matter how steady you think you are, it still moves around. It does have a protective cap for day viewing. However, with most night vision, you don't, uh, digital night vision, I'm sorry, you don't need it. This is more something akin to your traditional night vision, but it does have a little cap here that just fits into the lens. So if you're going to turn it on and look around in the daytime, you're not shooting it directly into sunlight. And it does have a string there so you can tie it around like a lanyard. I haven't done that yet. It does come with a nice uh, padded strap. I haven't put that on yet, but we will. So the zoom on this, all right, it's fixed at, I believe, three, three power. So when you're looking outside, it's three times fixed magnification. It's up to six total. However, the last three is a digital zoom. Again, this is not something you're going to zoom in, and it's a mechanical zoom that zooms in slowly, like you would with a DSLR camera. This is a digital zoom. A little bit, you know, again, it's a downfall, but it's a good digital zoom. It actually works very well. Uh, you can, it's still clear when you zoom in. Sometimes, with some of the digital zooms I've seen, they zoom in and everything's grainy because you're just making the picture closer to your eye. You're not actually zooming into it. But this one actually works very well. And again, we zoom in with it in the demo, so you'll see that. It does not have any sound or noise when you turn it on. Very good for private observation. Some of these units, and I've been watching reviews on them, 
you turn it on and they got like a freaking party going on in the viewfinder and tons of beep, 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 beep. <laughs> you don't want any of that. Nice and quiet, you can turn it on, nobody's the wiser. So let's get into the monitor. I'm gonna turn it on so you can see what it looks like. You can see it so you can remove it at night and then you got a gray screen in there. Cause I'm just pointing down at that. But anyway, that's the monitor. It's a rather wide monitor. Now when we're zooming in on this outside, you're gonna see it looks like a tiny little monitor. When you zoom out, it's a much wider monitor. Some of that is, it's actually a bigger monitor. Some of that is, this is a magnifying lens here. The nice part about this is, you can view it with both eyes open. It's usable with glasses. And it's not the entire rear of the unit, like I showed you on the screen. You know, some of these show this here with a screen from here to here. You're never gonna see that. That's not how they come. <laughs> you know, they are magnified. But it is, um, way bigger and clearer than other digital night vision that I've seen before. Now the viewing range is up to 110 yards at night. Like I said, three times fixed, three times digital zoom. Really straightforward instant, instant operation. I mean, you turn this thing on, I'm gonna show you the box for a sec here. Here are your instructions. Put your batteries in, flip the device over, turn it on, increase the IR level strength, and focus with the wheel. That's it. There are no fancy menus to go through on this. There's no complicated uh, stuff. If you're not tech savvy and you want to play with some night vision that's affordable and actually works, this is the way to go. Um, I mentioned the uh, focus. This is your focus wheel down here. See if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. And that will move back and forth. So you can focus that in a little bit better. You'll notice that when you're getting closer to objects, you'll need to mess with it a little bit. Or when you zoom all the way out, you'll need to mess with it a little bit. But it is very reachable, very ergonomic. You know, when you're holding it like this, you can get to that easy. So, all in all, a handy little device. It is a little heavy, like I said, it's 1.3 pounds, but this is less um, something I would say you were gonna carry with you in a bug out bag, or you know, maybe you keep it in a vehicle kit, but it wouldn't be something you'd carry in a bug out bag, and I really wouldn't wanna put sensitive electronics in a hot car over the summer either. This is more something you keep close by at home. You hear a bump outside, it's pitch black, you can go out and look. Now, you get six hours of battery life on the eight AA batteries. Unfortunately, and again, because this is a budget unit, it does not have a record feature. There is no SD card to put in here. But let's get real about that. You buy a $4,000 Gen 3 Plus high-end night vision scope, there's no record feature in that either. You know, at least the military surplus stuff. So for me, this is more of a real-time observation tool I can look, I can say, hey, there's a whole bunch of people down the street doing something, breaking into a house, let me call the cops. I don't have a way to record it, or I can you know, keep an eye on things out in my backyard. Ooh, there's somebody running through, let me go get him, let me confront him, let me let him go, whatever I'm going to do. This will allow you to do that. It's not a recording device. And that's why it's good to have cameras around your house with IR too. Now the one downside with digital night vision and lower end Gen 1 and 2 night vision is you need an IR emitter. That's your infrared emitter. That does make you very visible with high-end night gear, with high-end night vision gear to other people. If you're using this on your street and you're trying to hide, you know, you're laying flat in your front yard, whatever, playing Rambo, and you've got this going, and the military come down the street with their, you know, PBS 14s or whatever they're using, and they scope you out, you're gonna be a big red blob to them. Because <laughs> you can see this. There are ways to mitigate that. There are ways to hide your you know, IR signature a little bit. But believe me, you're not hiding from anybody if you're using this. Now, from the naked eye, yeah, you're pretty, pretty stealth. Anybody else using night vision against you, even one of these, will see the IR. Now, that can be written off as, well, maybe it's a light on the side of the house's alarm system. Maybe it's an LED garden light, you know, whatever. But let me show you to you in real time here. Let me turn it on. Okay. And here is, I don't know if you can see the red here. Yeah, see? Now the camera, now I'm looking at this right here and all I see is a dull red glow. The camera's showing a bright purple light and it gets brighter and brighter as I take it up, notches. So you do have to kind of be mindful of that. If you're using this with the IR emitter, you are gonna be spotted. You know, you're not gonna be super stealthy. So, let's get into um, the test outside. I'm going to show you what my front yard looks like with it. We're going to check on the, uh, the house over there that's, be, that's finished built now, finished being built. And um, we're going to show you 
what that IR emitter looks like when it's dark. All right, I'm going to try to give you the best I can do putting this up here. Like I told you, this is an inexpensive model, so it doesn't have the interior recording. You know, there's no SD card to record to. So I'm doing this through the camera lens. But even you can see I have it on IR3, I believe, or 4. And that bush is 75 yards away. And it is crystal clear. It's a whole lot clearer when looking through the monitor. And it's crystal clear um, through the lens. Now that does look kind of small, doesn't it? A little picture in there? Let me back you up a little bit and let you see the size. Now that's going to be whited out. You probably won't be able to see much. But you can see the size of that. That's a very big screen. Again, the kind of the camera kind of distorts it, so you can't really tell. But uh, that should give you an idea how clear that is. There's the ridges of the mountains in the background there. So, now let me show you what the IR looks like in complete darkness, so you understand that you're not going to be completely stealth with this, but you can hide pretty well with it. And I think you can see right in the middle. Ignore the little green light up at the left-hand side there. Right in the middle is that red light. And that's at its highest level. That's at level 8. So, you know, I mean, I'm a foot and a half away from it. But you will see that from a distance. So while it is super low light and pretty stealthy, and, you know, that probably could get written off as maybe an alarm light or some kind of light on the side of a house, still, it's going to give you position. If somebody's using some real Gen 3 high-quality stuff, it's definitely going to give you position away. I'm going to try one more um, look at our front yard. I want to give you a little bit of a different look so you can see what it looks like on something different other than just that book. Actually, what I'm going to show you is the house over there. Because the sky is still, even though it's pitch black out here, the sky is still bright enough that it's going to white it out. You can see even behind the house how white that is, even though it's pitch black. So there's the house. I'm on about IR2 here. Let me see. I think I'm on IR2. Let me put this down. Please forgive my jerky motion with this. It's the best I can do. Bump it up a little bit so you can see. Now, if I want to zoom in, here's the zoom. And yes, this is a digital zoom. You can see you're zooming in. I can look right in that window if I want to. And I can back out. So, as you can see, that's pretty darn clear for digital night vision. I really have not seen digital look this good. I mean, most of the digital that I've tested before couldn't even be seen through a camera lens like we're doing here. It would have looked like garbage. So, you get an idea. And as I said, the screen is pretty big. You know, up close it looks tiny, but that's a pretty big screen. So anyway, let's get it back on the table, and I will give you my final thoughts on it and some information on where to pick All it right. up. So you saw what it looks like outside. I don't want to make the video too long. Uh, I, I'm really impressed. With, again, the camera doesn't do it justice. I'm really impressed with how clear this is for digital night vision. Um, it's come a long, long way in the years. So I'm going to put a link down below. Like I said, these are affordable. You know, the ones with all the bells and whistles and recording and SD cards and all that. You start into the two to three hundred dollar range. This is one hundred and thirty bucks, and it works just as well as those for its intended purpose. You're not buying a video camera; you're buying a piece of night vision to watch what goes on at night. So uh, I will put a link down below. Like I said, one hundred twenty nine ninety nine, one hundred thirty bucks. Let's be real, <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys check it out. Uh, don't forget to check out our Thrive Life Store down below too. I know people are kind of scrambling right now for food. Thrive is doing very well with their shipping times and processing, so that's pretty cool. You know, there's a slight delay, but it's still getting out there. And uh, they do have a lot of stuff in stock, so check them out. Don't forget to check out our Amazon store. This will be in the Amazon store, but just click the link anyway. Shop as you normally would. If there's nothing in the store you like, it really helps out the channel a whole lot. And don't forget to check out our Olight down below our Olight link. Get yourself registered and check out flashlights. Very handy little flashlights. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.